The Bible predicts the moral state of mankind at the end of the age. Are we witnessing these very things? Jesus said in Matthew 24 verses 4 and 5 that in the last days many would come in his name proclaiming that they were the Christ and would deceive many. As I've traveled around the world in the past several years, I've actually encountered people who are following leaders who proclaim that they are the Christ. And this is not just happening in one or two countries, this is happening worldwide. For example, while I was speaking in Moscow, an individual jumped up, interrupted the meeting, and said that what I was telling them about the Bible wasn't true, that they were following the Messiah, the true Messiah, and what he was telling them was the truth, and that the people should follow that message rather than the Bible. While Christians all over the world prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, some believe he's alive right now. Where? Well, in the deep wilderness of northern Russia. It looks like a scene right out of a Sermon on the Mount. We traveled many kilometers through bug-infested forests to reach this isolated village in Siberia, this most northern part of Russia. Here we meet Jesus, or Vasirion, as they also call him. But humankind must make a choice. They have to be shown the way and they must choose to follow or not to follow. That will not make a choice for them. And thousands in this village believe this is Jesus Christ. These are not misfits or lunatics, they were mostly professionals who abandoned lives in Europe to follow the man they call Jesus. We have seen so many people today who are making claims to being the Messiah. And many are being deceived. Jesus said, for false messiahs and false prophets will rise. They'll show great signs and wonders and deceive, if possible, even the elect. There are so many today in the New Age movement who are claiming to be the messiahs or claiming to be channeling the wisdom of the messiahs for these days. It's an amazing thing to me, again, the lies that men will believe once they've rejected the truth. The words of Christ are being fulfilled before our eyes. These are the signs of the last days, according to Jesus. Over the past several decades, I have been following the pattern in society today where people are incredibly interested in the metaphysical, mystical, occultic dimension. And this is something that is literally happening in every nation around the world. Today, throughout the world, the concept is that God is everything because people have embraced an Eastern metaphysical worldview. They're turning to yoga, to meditation, out-of-body experiences, a belief in crystal consciousness. The ideas that we have considered as pagan in the past are being embraced today as the new spirituality and literally being embraced around the world. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. You know, I've traveled around the world interviewing people uh, who've been on drugs, uh, psychedelics, practicing yoga, under hypnosis. Uh, they're about 
a couple hundred ways to reach an altered state of consciousness. In a normal state of consciousness, your spirit operates your brain. In an altered state, you've loosened that connection, allowing another spirit to interpose itself, tick off the neurons in your brain, creating a, a universe of illusion. It talks about they will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. One of the big things today is channeling, communication with spirit beings. Uh, it's in the business world. And as, as I said, I've traveled around the world interviewing people, and I can tell you this, there is a commonality of the information that comes to them. They all get the same revelation from these spirit entities. Paul talked about the doctrines of demons, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, that would be involved in a deception which would also occur in the name of Christianity. He talked about many people that uh, would lead people astray, and this was what we see taking place. One of the greatest deceptions that is occurring in our time is happening in the name of Christianity as people are embracing a form of Christianity based on extra-biblical experiences we see the rise of satanic worship of the satanic cults we hear it with the musicians we see it invading the culture of the youth today and we see the young people doing such horrible things unthinkable things because they are being drawn into these satanic cults why could they be drawn into these things? Because they have been held back from the truth of the gospel. Because their parents haven't shared with them what God's truth is. There is this fascination for the occult because they do not have the truth of God in their heart. Never before have we seen such an explosion of fortune-telling, hypnotism, psychics, magicians, and Dungeons and Dragons, and these kinds of things that we see in our world today. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah ye were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You have to be aware that Satan is coming against this generation in an unprecedented measure. He is attacking this generation to take the thoughts of God out of the minds of an entire society. He's doing it through the school system. He's doing it in our colleges. 
He's doing it in the marketplace, he's doing it in the halls of government, and he's even doing it in the house of God. Trying to eradicate everything that comes from the mind of God, to blind an entire generation, to take captive as many as he can, for the scripture says he knows that his time is short. That fallen nature that was sown into humankind in the Garden of Eden, that which is resident within you and me, all of society, every man, every woman ever created has this capacity of sin inside that manifests itself through the thought that I can be as God and I can determine in myself what is good and what is evil. I don't need God to tell me what the parameters of acceptable behavior are. I can determine.